Do you want a new superpower? How about a mostly useless superpower? Uh, well, good news. I recently learned that people, uh, most people, those without serious vision problems, can teach themselves to be able to see the polarization of light. First, here's a quick lesson and complete oversimplification of what polarization means. When light leaves its source, like uh, the sun or a light bulb or a candle flame, it is unpolarized, which means that the waves vibrate in all sorts of directions. And sometimes when it passes through a particular transparent object, like a pane of glass or even molecules in the atmosphere, it can uh, be polarized so that it just vibrates in one direction, up and down, left to right. Now, again, that's an oversimplification. There are other ways of polarization. There's circular polarization uh, in which two waves of the same amplitude uh, vibrate at 90 degrees to one another. So one might go up and down and one side to side. There's also elliptical polarization in which the two light waves uh, also uh, go at 90 degrees to each other, but are uh, of unequal amplitude. Scientists recently found out that bats can see the polarization of light and use it as a way to fine tune their navigation systems. And I was really surprised to learn that it turns out humans can also see that direction of polarization uh, through a weird quirk of evolution and physics. If you go outside on a bright sunny day with a clear blue sky and stand with the sun to your back and gaze into the blue sky, if you look for long enough, eventually you should be able to see an image called Haydinger's brush. And yes, Haydinger's brush sounds like something filthy you might find on Urban Dictionary, but I assure you it is perfectly safe for work. Haydinger's brush is usually described as a faint yellow bow tie shaped bar, and it's about the size of your thumb held out at arm's length. So kind of small and very, very faint. And if you practice this enough, then you should also be able to make out a faint blue bow tie shape running perpendicular to the yellow bow tie. And that will tell you which direction the light is polarized in. The uh, polarization runs perpendicular to the yellow. Uh, you can also use Hadinger's brush to tell you whether light is circularly polarized. Um, if the yellow bow tie is uh, higher on the left-hand side and lower on the right-hand side, that's uh, left-handed circularly polarized light. And if it's going the other way, uh, top is on the right and bottom is on the left, that's right-handed circularly polarized light. So you can remember it's actually the opposite hand if you're holding it up to the brush, which is a little confusing. They should probably do something about that. So yeah, it's a really cool way to develop a quirky kind of super sense. You should be able to do it with enough practice. The good news is that you don't always need a bright sunny day to practice. You can use uh, pretty much any current day flat screen monitor. The old school CRT monitors uh, put out unpolarized light, so this won't work with them, but you probably don't even have any of those anymore. So you can use uh, probably your computer screen or your smartphone, and all you do is you set it to a blank white screen and stare at it. And if you stare at it for long enough, you should start to be able to make out the very faint outlines of Haydinger's brush. And if it helps, you can uh, tilt the monitor back and forth and that will cause the uh, polarization to change, which will cause the image to move, which can make it maybe a little bit easier for you to see. And if anybody asks you what you're doing while you're staring at that phone, just tell them that you're on drugs. So why does this happen? Well, the explanation is extremely complicated and scientists still aren't 100% sure, but it seems to be focused in the macula, which is a tiny area uh, around the center of your retina, which is why uh, Haydinger's brush always appears in the middle of your vision. And uh, it seems to be a protein molecule called lutein that is responsible for this because lutein 
uh, has a habit of absorbing more polarized light that's polarized in the same direction that the protein is facing. Uh, so it's so faint because there are actually very few of those molecules in your eyes to absorb that light. So what can you do with your newfound superpower? Well, pretty much nothing. Um, but one cool fact about it is that uh, there are people with conditions like strabismus, which is a condition in which the eyes don't line up with one another properly. And these people focus on objects using uh, other areas of their retina that aren't quite as good at resolving images as the macula is. Since Haydinger's brush is an image that is only seen with the macula, the patients can actually be trained to learn to use their macula uh, by staring at Haydinger's brush. And that sort of teaches them exactly what to do with their eyes to focus on objects using the macula. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, as for people who don't necessarily need that kind of uh, training, just consider, I mean, with the recent news about the bats using it for navigation, this would be a really great step uh, towards becoming Batman. Uh, once you're able to see the polarization of light, uh, pretty much all that's left is, um, well, a, a batarang, a cool car, and a great chin. So good luck.